I'm gonna kill my husband. I'm sorry I'm making this a two-parter, but I don't want to like start it over. My husband called me, and you guys know I do my videos on my phone, and so he interrupted my my um video there. Sorry, but anyways, I was telling you guys that um the heart rate of the baby was 178 beats per minute, and he said that was a perfect or it was a good heart rate. I guess I don't think he said perfect. I don't remember. Um, he said it was a good heart rate, and um, he said it was a good measurement, so he gave me my due date, and he said, don't think that, you know, you're done with me, that you're not going to see me anymore. My back hurts. Um, but you can go ahead and make your appointment with, uh, with your OB, and, uh, um, and they, it's like, we've moved to like a, um, a hospital like a brand new hospital so the RE clinic is together with the OB clinic like the RE and the OB are in the same office I should say it's a huge building it's called Texas Children's Pavilion for Women and it's brand new and it's like a huge building but that, that office is together with the um, with the obstet obstetrics and gynecology and then the RE and IVF and all that stuff. So the only difference in that is the when you walk in, you sign in everything for everybody, like I, um, RE patients and OB patients. And then the only thing is that your nurse, your RE nurse, um, there's two doors and then your RE nurse comes from the last door and takes you in through that door. And just regular OB comes from like the first door and takes you in. So that's the only difference. And I know people like people look at you weird if they like if they know. Or they probably wonder why they're taking you through another door. But yeah, that's what that's the only difference on that. So my OB is in that same area. So um he said I was gonna I was able to make my appointment with my OB and um and he was just going to stop by whenever I was there and blah, blah, blah. So he said, you tell me how your appointment goes and blah, blah, blah. So he was actually pretty nice. I mean, he's always been pretty nice. And um, he told me that, you know, he's like, don't forget you're done with me. And uh, it was pretty funny. But And then he, like, he asked me, um, when, how old, how old I was this is so confusing it's weird and I'm sorry he said how old are you gonna be when you deliver and I said 26 and he's like oh she's such a baby and I was like what I was like I'm thinking I'm old I wanted to have my first kid by 25 and infertility has not allowed me that so I'm gonna be 26 when I have my first kid he's like oh such a baby and then um, he said you are um, you are my youngest patient this week. And I was like, cool. And you know, it's just, I just, it's weird to be in a RE, like in, like in infertility clinic when you're like 26. And he's like, yeah, it's, it's, you're my youngest patient this week. And I was like, okay, thanks. You just made my day, you know? But, um, yeah, um, that's pretty much how it went. Now I have to make an appointment with my OB. And I am going to make it probably tomorrow. I did not have time today before the close of the clinic. I was working and then I had to go buy some stuff. And we're moving. So there is a mess in my room. We are finally moving out of this hellhole. Um, but, um, yeah. It's a mess. Oh, yeah. Before I make this like even longer than it's supposed to be, I'm going to show you guys the... The ultrasounds thingies, my jiggers. I don't know, can you see that? That right there. Here. That is the baby right there. And see how I'm telling you guys that the baby is not like right here in the middle. It's like all the way up here, you know. And then this is a heart, the heart. And then uh, you can see the heart rate thingy right. If you can see that, it's like 178 beats per minute. And I hope you can see that. I'm not totally off, but... Okay. 
And then that was the, like the heart thing monitor. And see, right here, you guys have got to tell me where the baby is. Because honestly, it's like well hidden. And that was the thing I was talking to you guys about that when, with the ultrasound tech, she saw it right in the middle, nice and big. And I mean, she freaking knows the machine. And she even said, if you have a flash drive and I get to do your ultrasound next week or whenever you come, bring your flash drive in. I'll give you like a video and I'll give you some pictures and I'll give you this and I'll give you that. And she gave us three pictures that one day. But I hope we always get her. She's pretty awesome. Okay. Baby is right here you can see the sack right here and it's pretty dark it was very dark all the time um and he said that it was a new machine for like the whole um for like the building so i'm guessing their machines the ones that they were used to were older and they don't really know how to use them or they haven't practiced a lot on them so anyways i should stop talking right you can see the baby's right there. And then from there you can see the CRL letters all the way to here. And the baby is measuring, uh, you can see down here, eight weeks. Of course, of course, this thing is on a focus. Eight weeks and six days. And I said to myself that I wasn't going to buy anything um, because I just wanted to find out the gender and just wanted to go like shopping for a specific gender and not buy anything but I gave in and I totally went to Target and bought a few things not too much um, but in, you guys know how I love clearance and you call me cheap if you want to I don't mind but anyways I bought this Christmas things and they're black and they look like boyish but I was thinking, my baby is going to be like four months old when he or she is on, like when, when it's December. So, um, I think it's going to be, might be a big baby. And we never know. So, they didn't have any four months ones anyway. So, I bought six months old. So, this one says, my first Christmas. And it's all black. And it's like little ones you would like. I think this is like a long sleeve for a baby. And then it's Baby Glam by Target. And these were $6.99. But I scanned them because they didn't have a clearance tag on them. And they were $0.69. Cents. So I was like, heck yeah. And I was thinking that I could pair these up with like a little tutu or like a little red skirt or something. Make a girl you like. And since I'm like very crafty I can make like some flowers or something like that this is a Santa's favorite and it's like a little Santa thing and I could just add a skirt to it with like if it's a girl with like little leggings and stuff like that and this one was also 69 cents and then this one says Christmas rocks this one's the boyish one looking one but you know you can always um, accessorize it with like girl stuff anyways I bought these ones Better hurry up. I've made this long already. These are two pairs of little little pants. The gray and the white with the ducky. And these were $4.88. And then I bought this receiving blanket. Um, they are eh, boyish. They're cute. You know, and if it is a girl, then I might just give it away or something if I don't really use it or, or anything but these were $5.98 so that's all that I've bought for babies so far not, not honestly I'm not buying anything else I feel that um I should just wait and um yeah just wait in and see what we're having but anyway that's it I'm sorry I had to make this a two part, but you can take my husband later for that. I will talk to you guys later and thank you all for watching. Bye.